Century South in Wise, Virginia. Today we are in the 2004 Ford F-150 and we're going to test out the ride and handling. You can see the F-150 is the best selling pickup and vehicle. Um, I'm recording this on 720p because 1080 is too much for me. Um, this actually handles pretty well. On the highway that runs from South Carolina to Ohio. You can see Washington Road is under construction. Um... It's like 6.03 p.m. We are, um, running the streets of Wise County, Virginia. This is actually the home county that I live in. Um, if you live in my area, please check out my YouTube channel. Um, there's lots more videos to come, and um, we want you to stay tuned. This actually handles pretty well going about 60 miles per hour on a curve that's this steep. And the ride quality is pretty well. just puts out 310 horsepower and 365 pound foot of torque. Um, aside from the updated 5 liter V8, that puts out 385 horsepower and 387 pound foot of torque. Um, I mean, this is a couple generations after the... This is just a couple generations before the... Um, 2015 F-150 came out last year. You can see there was one going off the exit. Just not going by exit. 2A, 2B, going over the bridge. Um, this F-150 is rated at 14 city, 16 highway, and 15 combined. Also rated by the EPA. So, is the EPA FPG correct, or is it just like, are you just guessing the FPG? <laughs> um, I have a feeling this assures this is true. Um, sorry there was a bug. Um, this actually handles pretty well. The suspension has a little throttle inside of it. Going over this bridge. This just like bounces. The tires don't bounce. I think the the vehicle itself just bounces itself. Um This This is pretty well updated for 2004. I have to say this F-150 just, this is quite even better than its predecessor. But when you're going like 60 to 0 miles per hour when you have to go on the brake, when you're at the dragster, of course we're getting off exit 1, um, when you're at, putting your foot on the brake so hard, even if you have a manual transmission, I think you could get that on the SVT Lightning, but if you had to have push one start, you had to put your foot on the braking clutch. Um, you've got to see this up here. Watch this. I did 2016 F150. I think that's the most powerful of all generations. Although there's a new 2.7 liter EcoBoost, E6. 
that you could get on the XLT and Lariats. Of course, we have the V8, so quite much powerful than all the engines are available on the F-150. So I think that's pretty much it. Yeah.